Solutions, a look at violence in the River City and how the community is looking to break the cycle of silence. Plus, we'll also introduce you to three people helping kids have a home, how they're going beyond being foster parents. Taking action for you. This is WMBD 31 News at 10. I'm, I'm, I've been a witness to uh, shootings, you know, and um, just, just, you know, being a witness to it and you feel like, you know, okay, I've seen it. I may know something about it, you know, but I'm not, I'm not coming forth. I'm not going to put myself out there. Some people don't want to get involved when they witness a crime. Now WMBD is searching for solutions, reaching out to Central Illinois, identifying problems and those working to solve them. In part one of our two-part investigation, we speak with Terrell Rickman, a man who grew up on the streets, exposed to violence, and who understands the street code of silence. Tonight, we hear why he decided to turn his life around. I'm only 26. You know, uh, I've been to state prison and federal prison. Terrell Rickman grew up in Peoria, running the streets. You know, the fast life, it becomes like an addiction. You know, you become greedy, you want more, you want more. Rickman's father, Terry Burnside, is a familiar name in the River City, at one time most familiar with the police. I always heard his name. You know, um, it's maybe his first time hearing it, but um, I, got, I see all his, key, all, like all his friends, uh, T-Mac this, T-Mac that. You know, I hear, like, your dad got all the girls, your dad got money. Burnside also served time, nearly 10 years between state and federal prisons for guns and drugs. Our passes are somewhat identical. You know, he went through, you know, just as about, or if not as much as I did as a child, you know, uh, being thrusted into that same lifestyle. In 2009, just months after being released from state prison, Rickman was locked up on a federal drug charge, facing life. It was an arrest and conviction that was part of a transformation, realized weeks later when his best friend was killed. That was it for me. I, I reached my breaking point. I feel like if I continue to remain, I mean, if I remain the same person that I was, I'm always going to receive the same results. The time behind bars gave Rickman time to reflect. All the hopes, the dreams, and everything that I lost sight of, you know, I realized even though I was getting older, it's not too late to continue to pursue them. It's not too late to pick back up. A change in the federal crack law allowed Rickman an early release. When he got home, he got in touch with Carl Cannon, joining and eventually graduating the elite program. I successfully completed and graduated that from there. Um, I'm currently employed at, at Keystone Steel and Wire. I've been there since my release. Rickman uses some of his free time to speak with kids about his life. I try to dig deep as I can with him, and I just try to be as vulnerable, as open, and honest as I can with him, and just, you know, tell them my story, you know, and just explain to them, you know, that I get it. I understand. I can identify with you. I, will, I, would, I once was you. Rickman says his talks are focused on helping kids make good decisions and doing the right thing. It's hard, but at the same time, I, I would, you know, being a victim of, the, of that myself, I would want someone to come forward. I would want someone to do the right thing so that my family can have a peace of mind, knowing that, you know, um, someone had the courage to, to step up and, you know, bring justice, you know, um, for us suffering our loss. Still, many people don't come forward. Tomorrow night at 10, we speak to those trying to break the cycle of silence, hoping to get kids and adults to do the right thing. Tonight, area leaders in Peoria focusing on the most violent offenders. WMBD's Marvis Herring joins us live now from downtown. And Marvis, this call-in tonight, a little different than previous ones, so what can you tell us? Paul, I'm outside of the downtown library. That's where the event wrapped up earlier tonight. And like you said, this one is a little different than the past. Previous call-ins have focused on street group or street gang members. But tonight, local leaders delivered a message right to the individuals in the room, speaking to some of the city's criminal hard hitters. With their history, this is their pretty much their last chance. The Don't Shoot Task Force wants there to be no confusion when it comes to their intolerance for violence in Peoria. That's why they invited just over a dozen of the city's most violent offenders, those with records of gun violence, to Monday's call-in. I think for the most part that you would see uh, people that do have a violent history that uh, they are repeat offenders. 
This is focused entirely on the individual. State's Attorney Jerry Brady says his office, city and county police, as well as other state and federal agencies have teamed up tracking those with a reputation of violence and criminal felony convictions. These individuals are the most violent offenders and they're the ones that warrant that kind of attention. If we're going to stop the violence, these individuals need to realize that they've got our attention. And that was the echoing message in the room. Each speaker driving home that the 13 men have law enforcement's attention and each one of them can make a choice with what they want to do with that attention. Once they've been notified, we track that basically uh, forever. We will uh, review arrest reports daily. They can ignore it and suffer long sentences in prison or reach out for help and leave the violence behind. You're not waiting for them to slip up. You don't want them to. No, we hope they don't. You know, what we're hoping is they will take the message. And some of the services that Don't Shoot offer include job training, alcohol and drug treatment, tattoo removal, as well as a number of other services like an emergency food pantry. Now the Don't Shoot Task Force invited 14 of the most violent offenders in our area to tonight's call-in. Now 13 out of that 14 did show up. Live in downtown Peoria, Marvis Herring, WMBD 31 News. Back to you, Paul. Thanks, Marvis. You can now add powder to the list of ways you can consume alcohol, but not everyone's excited about it. It's called palcohol, powdered alcohol. It comes in a pouch. It's use meant for outdoors on walks or hikes. The federal government just gave palcohol the green light. Addiction experts are worried, though, it won't be used for that and are concerned it's making it easier for teenagers to get their hands on it. One addiction counselor tells us there are just too many unknowns about the product. We're not here to judge whether it's right or wrong. Uh, we just know that it could be a potential hazard for people for an abuse uh, like with any mood altering substance. Several states have introduced legislation to ban powdered alcohol, including Illinois. A bill was introduced at the beginning of this year. It's moving through the Senate right now, and it would ban the sale and purchase of this kind of alcohol. An OSF health clinic is open now after potential measles scare. OSF Prompt Care on Fort Jesse and Normal closed for a few hours on Sunday when two patients were concerned they had measles. The clinic followed procedure isolating the patients and closing the facility for two and closing the facility for cleaning. The two patients were tested for measles, but the results can take from a week to a day to come back. OSF says no one else is at risk at this time. And the totals are in for last night's fundraiser in Morton, where the community honored a former teacher. It's a story we're following up for you tonight. Fellow teachers in the Morton School District put on a play to honor Joel Stanfield, a teacher who died unexpectedly last year. The goal, $5,000, but from last night's performance, they raised nearly $7,000. And all that money is going to the Stanfield family. 15,000, that's the number of kids living in foster care in our state. Our Maria Chandler is about to introduce you to three people who are dedicated to bringing those numbers down by opening their homes and their hearts. I always tell him literally every day, you're my blessing. You, he really is. Eight years ago, Calvin McLemore took the classes he needed to and has been a foster parent ever since. The first kid that stayed at his house is now his adopted son. He has um, um, helped to complete me. Um, I've learned a lot about myself, learned a lot of tolerance, a lot of patience. Um, to love, and we always talk about loving unconditionally. Heidi German and Robin Heald already raised their own biological daughter, but felt that same calling as Calvin. Sometimes I think we're crazy because we have teenage girls again. There's so many kids out there um, that, that just need just a little bit extra help. It's not, I mean, we always tell our girls, it's not that your life was horrible. We just want to make it a little bit easier so you can grow into being an adult. You don't have to, you don't have to do it on your own. The Children's Home makes sure foster parents don't have to do it alone either, with counselors and programs helping each step of the way. As a parent, I feel like maybe I'm a little bit better this time around. These parents are taking a chance on kids to make them better too. Helping them, guiding them to be just adults. I mean, when they're bigger, they generally, you know, go from us to the world. They'll all tell you inviting strangers into their homes under their rules doesn't come without challenges, but to them, that's what life is all about. There's seven billion people in the world. 
I'm not the only one. So, and I'm, the, I'm not the greatest one. I'm, I'm probably one of the ones who've been blessed to be in a position to affect change. I'm not greater. You're not worse. And, you know, and I, don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of optimistic, but that's how I look, I look at it. That um, even when you come in the door with a whole bunch of issues, before you came, I had issues. And we can try and work on our issues together. Now, if being a foster parent is something you've thought about, you can learn all about it. There's a meeting this week, Thursday, at Children's Home at 530. We'll put all the details on our website, ciproud.com. Still ahead, Governor Rauner making a stop in the Twin Cities today. How he's hoping his many cut, proposed cuts to the budget are only temporary. But first, Rachel. Today felt more like summer than spring. We hit the mid to upper 70s. Tomorrow, your St. Patrick's Day is looking a little bit cooler. We'll have your full forecast coming up after the break. CI Heroes, brought to you by SefQ. Honda developed the first fuel-injected motorcycle. The first full line of four-stroke outboards in America. The world's first omnidirectional personal mobility device. We even made rear-view cameras standard on every 2015 Honda vehicle. But I'm here to introduce one of our greatest innovations yet. The Honda Dream Garage sales event. With great deals on almost everything we make right now. So go, you've got a garage to fill. Now, at your Honda dealer. You see it everywhere nowadays. We call it the yield bump. It's a grower's way of saying you made a good decision. Because when you treat young corn with an early season application of Stratego Yield Fungicide, you get stronger stocks, healthier fields, and even higher yields. So get a jump on your yield bump with Stratego Yield Early Season. Did you know the most searched auto brand on Google is Ford? Can't get better than that. Would it surprise you to learn that Ford is America's best-selling brand? You called me, you were like, I, I found my car. But what's really interesting, more people stay with Ford than any other brand. I personally fell in love with the car. I don't know if I'll ever not buy a Ford. Most searched, most purchased, most loyal. I don't have time to drive something I don't want. Get a Fusion with 0 for 60 plus 1,000 bonus cash and 750 competitive switch cash, or at least for $179 a month. I'm Tim Sowers of LD Ford. What does it really mean to say you're number one and truly be number one? Is it if you advertise the most? No. Is it if you have the most inventory? No. Is it if you promote prices that you can't back up but they sound really good? No. Or is it simply if you have the most experienced family-run dealership in the area that takes the best care of people better than anyone else and this family will do whatever it takes to earn your business? You tell me. The Storm Tracker Skycam Network, brought to you by Barker Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac. Now, your local weather authority, WMBD 31 meteorologist Rachel Kay. We had a beautiful day out there, and we are looking at a quiet night on our KBL Design Center Skycam right now. Temperatures have dropped to the mid-60s. We're at 66 at the Peoria Airport right now. Winds coming from the southwest at about 5 to 10 miles per hour across the area. But check this out. We hit a high of 79 degrees today. Peoria, not the only area, seeing the mid to upper 70s. We hit 76 in Bloomington, 78 in Lincoln, 75, 76 in Pontiac and Galesburg. So, of course, we did break 75 degrees today. That reading for the German Bliss equipment giveaway came from the Peoria Airport so now we're going to be drawing names to see who wins the four VIP tickets to see Alan Jackson that will be tomorrow at 10 p.m. right here on WMBD make sure that you tune in now we are looking at a cold front that's going to be coming on the way even though we were nice and warm today we saw a little bit of cloud cover the rain thankfully sticking well to our north and that's now moving off to the east but if you take a look at the bigger picture you can see this cold front that's really going to be coming from our north this colder air is going to be sinking in as we go throughout the next couple of days 40 in Minneapolis right now. So we're looking at about a 20 degree drop as we head into your St. Patrick's Day holiday. I know everyone was probably hoping this warm weather was going to stick around. We will start off in the mid to low 40s. So a cool start to the day, but not freezing out there. We'll be partly cloudy as we start off the day, but plenty of sunshine as we go throughout the afternoon. So at least it will be bright and pleasant out there. If you have any plans that take you outdoors, maybe the St. Patrick's Day parade in the afternoon, we will hit the low 50s, a high of around 52 here in Peoria. It's going to be cooler and very breezy out there. Winds coming from the north at about 15 to 20 miles per hour. 
pumping in that colder air. So around 10 p.m. we'll already be into those upper 30s. Looks like we're going to drop down below freezing as we go throughout the night tomorrow night. Look at your highs across the area tomorrow though. Looks like we might have a chance to see about 49 in Bloomington. Hopefully with that sunshine we'll bump you back up to about 50 degrees for your high tomorrow. Here's a look at those future track winds though. You can see them coming from the north at over 20 miles per hour. By the afternoon those will start to calm down to about 15 miles per hour and here we are tomorrow evening around 9 p.m. Winds looking much calmer tomorrow night and as we head throughout the rest of the work week those winds will be calm and plenty of sunshine. Here we are tomorrow around noon. You can see all of that cloud cover really working its way out even though we'll be partly cloudy to start off the day. More cloud cover really working its way in as we head into the day on Wednesday though and you can see this storm system to our south. Right now it looks like that rain is going to stick to our south but we'll of course keep an eye on it as we head throughout the rest of the work week. Right now here's a look at your full eight day outlook. You can see highs only sticking in those 50s. It's going to be more seasonable than what we saw today but uh, still spring like out there. Paul? All right, thanks, Rachel. Putting a stop to potholes, how the city of Bloomington is looking to curb the costly problem. That's next. Green Ford has gone mad in March. Drive home a Fusion or an Escape and save over $6,000. Or lease a Fusion for $149 a month. Or an Escape for $179 a month. Or even a new F-150 for $259 a month. Or save $13,000 off the purchase price. Save big with $4,500 off the Explorers. Or lease one for $269 a month or a new Mustang for only $2.29 a month. Don't miss this madness in March. Save on the crazy deals happening now at Green Ford. Nothing beats a Green Ford deal. You gotta go to Green. Whether you need a small repair or a whole new roof, Geyer Roofing has you covered. Our team of professionals will give your home or business the look and protection it needs while getting the job done on time and within budget. We value your business and offer quality craftsmanship at reasonable prices. So rest assured, with two generations of experience, Geyer Roofing has the know-how to get the job done right. There are a lot of roofers in Central Illinois, but what only the best will do, hire Geyer. Get your free estimate today. Grossinger Motors has just one thing in mind, delivering the Subaru you want at the price you want. We've added up all the savings and incentives, then price cut it to sell. Right now, drive a new Impreza for just $21,400 or lease a new Forester for just $159 per month. Stop in today or visit our website for over 250 deals to choose from. Only at Grossinger Motors, 1430 Fort Jesse Road in Normal and at GrossingerSubaru.com. It's Steger's Big Spring Sale Event. Save on gorgeous flex steel furniture. Fabulous! Take an extra 20% off or get 36 months interest free. Save store wide. And save on all mattresses. The Steger's Big Spring Sale Event is on. Save now. It's amazing what you can do with a small space in your home. Turn it into a laundry room, a mud room, an entertainment area. How about an amazing hobby room? Marillette Quality, Marillette Price, Marillette Extras. We're Hamptons. It's what we do. WMBD News is brought to you by Green Chevrolet. You know, I get asked all the time, why should I lease? Well, how about the fact you'll never be upside down in your trade again? Or the fact you'll only pay tax on what you use? So how about a 2015 double cab Silverado 4x4 for just $380 a month? Or a crew cab Silverado 4x4 for just $465 a month? Now, maybe a truck isn't your style, so you want to do a 2015 Equinox for just $169 a month. And of course you still get the Greens Goods package, car washes and so much more. You've got to go green. Taking action for you. This is WMBD 31 News at 10. Governor Rauner laying out his plan to get Illinois out of the red during a stop today in the Twin Cities. And while Rauner intends to make some cuts, as WMBD's Jacob Peklo explains, Rauner is hoping many of those cuts are temporary. For a packed house in Uptown Normal, Governor Bruce Rauner spoke boldly about his plans to revamp the land of Lincoln. You've got to change the structure. Where the, where the insiders can't bribe the politicians to get the spending out of control. But he says cleaning up the state's budget won't be done overnight. We've got to grow our way out of our problems. That's the only solution. A group of protesters spoke out against the new governor, saying his plans reward big corporations. Been making cuts and cuts over the last several years, trying to deal with the budget issues. We are in a crisis, but 
We don't look at it as a, as a deficit crisis, we look at it as a revenue crisis. It's why protesters called for new taxes against the rich to bring in that revenue. But Rauner says that just won't work. We're already bleeding off a lot of successful people who are leaving the state. Bloomington Mayor Terry Renner is skeptical of Rauner's plan, saying there could be a lot of good for business, but it could hurt his city's budget even more. We need some specifics to alleviate some of the fears that the state of Illinois is trying to balance their budget on the backs of mayors, because we have to make things happen. We can't dump on anybody else. As mayors, the tire hits the pavement. And normal council member Kevin McCarthy agrees, saying there's definitely some questions. He's, he's certainly proposing some pretty strict uh, and pretty deep things, and so how that ends up in the end, it's certainly a starting point to start a lot of these conversations, but where it lands, I'm not really sure. The jury's out on, on this proposal. I, I, I hope that he shakes up Springfield in the way that he's talking about, um, but we'll see. In, in Bloomington, Jacob Pecklow, WMBD 31 News. Ryder will be back in the Twin Cities tomorrow to share more of his plans with workers in Bloomington. The city of Bloomington is looking to go high tech to help its citizens curb a pesky problem. Tonight, at the city's committee of the whole meeting, council members got to take a look at the beta version of the new My Bloomington app. It will allow for people to make quicker requests to city personnel for any issues they're having with their homes or the roadways. The app development began back in November, but city staff still recommend waiting until it's perfected to download. Hold off for now. Get excited about the fact that this is coming. It's really innovative. It'll be a great new communication avenue with our citizens. Um, but again, it's still very much in the development phase. Now the app will allow you to take pictures of potholes. It'll update information in real time to let someone know if the request has already been put in for a space. Bradley has a new athletics director, and he's a familiar face. Kurt Pegler has that story next in sports. Not everyone is destined to be an elite athlete, but for those with chronic knee pain, performing even the simplest task can be a challenge. Thankfully, ICPR has a solution. Proven up to 90% effective, ICPR's knee arthritis program delivers medicine to the exact point it's needed most. Now you can play harder, run faster, live fuller. Limit the pain, not the activity. There's nothing like your natural knee. Call for a free consultation. We're installing new equipment and advanced technology to improve reliability. It's all part of Cameron, Illinois' five-year plan to build a stronger energy infrastructure. Along the way, we're also building a stronger economy in central and southern Illinois by hiring more than 800 new employees. I should know, I'm one of them. Cameron, Illinois, energy at work. Ever since he was 12, Brian Schuster has been recording his entire life on his video camera. So you can imagine the importance of recording his daughter's first steps. And just when it seemed like the time had come, the camera was gone. It had been stolen. But thanks to his insurance company, West Bend, Brian's camera was replaced inside of a week. So Brian was able to record this. Every day something bad happens to someone. But at West Bend, we try to make sure our customers can still experience a silver lining. What's that? Her sign! Ah! <laughs> what a joke! He's angry! Pass the soap! Uh, listen to Amarantha Cockleburn back there, singing in the shower! <laughs> Uh-oh. I can't even get out of here. <laughs> Mommy! UFS, famous for deals on Adam Street, downtown Peoria. Ten minutes from anywhere. When you set out to find new roads, you pioneer connectivity. Champion efficiency. Elevate form. Reinvent a category. And you attract a lot of attention. Chevrolet, the most awarded car company over the last year. Right now, get 0% APR financing for six years plus $500 purchase bonus cash on this 2015 cruise. See Ray Dennis and Chevrolet in Pekin for this great deal. Now, WMBD 31 Sports. Bradley has a new athletics director, and he's a familiar face to the Peoria sports landscape. BU hires Peoria High School grad Chris Reynolds for the position that is vacated by Michael Cross. Reynolds was a star player on the 1989 state runner-up at Peoria High. He then went on to play college hoops at Indiana, where he helped 
take the Hoosiers to the 1992 Final Four. He served eight years in the Indiana Athletics Department as a Senior Associate Athletics Director. He's also worked in the Michigan State, Notre Dame, and Northwestern Athletic Departments. He'll be introduced on the Bradley campus on Wednesday. His first big decision will likely be the fate of basketball coach Geno Ford, who just finished his fourth season at Bradley. He has a 46-86 and 86 record with the Braves. Fighting Illini are in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, getting ready for an NIT game tomorrow night. John Gross admits he'd rather be getting ready for an NCAA game, but it's time to make the most of his second straight trip to the NIT. And we understand, I mean, there's 350 plus Division I teams, and, you know, the, the first 100, so to speak, get to play in either the NCAA tournament or the NIT. So, you know, we're certainly not trying to be, uh, you know, where we're not grateful. We're grateful. Fighting Illini play at Alabama tomorrow night at 8. ISU also getting ready for a date in the NIT. The Redbirds, who finished runner-up at the Valley Tournament, will play Horizon League runner-up Green Bay at Redbird Arena on Wednesday night. We're excited. I know our guys are excited. Uh, no matter who we played or where we played, they were excited. But to get a home game, I think, is, is even more exciting for our players. And you know, we've got, I think we have a lot of basketball left in us. Redbirds are trying to advance to the second round of the NIT for the eighth time in school history. High School March Madness continues this week. Normal Community and Manual each with their sights set on Carver Arena. The Ironmen are one win away from that state Final Four bid. They play in the Super Sectional tomorrow against number one seed Chicago Simeon with three Big Ten signees in their starting five. Obviously, they're one of the great high school programs in the country and uh, from one of the best basketball cities in the country. And uh, it's going to be a great challenge for us, but when you're 4A basketball and you're a big school like we are, you're going to end up having to play teams like this. You know, I think that works in our favor a little bit just because they just think we're a, a small town team that's gotten lucky so far. And, and honestly, I, they can think what they want. Normal community against top ranked Simeon at Redbird Arena tomorrow night at 7. Manuel is in a Class 3A Super Sectional tomorrow night. The Rams are a win away from returning to the state after a five year absence. Coach Derek Booth says his team is peaking at the right time, especially on the defensive end. Manual basketball is just expected to win. Uh, you, know, you know, whether it's the first game of the year or the last game of the year. And uh, that's a challenge that we accept when we wear the uniform. So uh, I'm just happy to still be playing uh, this time of year. It means a lot to, like, you know, come back to the state. We haven't been down there a couple of years. Time for us to get back on the map. The Rams play Rockford Lutheran in the DeKalb Super Sectional at 6 o'clock tomorrow night. Briefly, Metamora and Eureka win high school baseball openers today, and Normal Community sweeps a softball doubleheader. Finally, Georgia State coach Ron Hunter tore his Achilles in the celebratory scrum after his team clinched an NCAA berth, but it wasn't going to stop him from cutting down the nets. They just lowered that rim <laughs> down and they said, Coach, hobble up here, and we're going to let you cut the nets down on about a seven foot net. I like that. That's all right. I like that, too. I think that's a good way to celebrate. That's the kind of coach you want to play for. And I'll tell you what, hearing what Coach Booth had to say about we are expected to win, mm. Emmanuel, I think that's the kind of coach you want to play for, you gotta too. you got to have that attitude the last week of the season. At any week of yeah, the season. Yeah, well, that's true. Right? All right, don't go away. Rachel has a last look at your forecast right after this. This portion of WMBD 31 News sponsored by... Honda. Where it's more than a car, it's a Honda. Did you know the most searched auto brand on Google is Ford? Can't get better than that. Would it surprise you to learn that Ford is America's best-selling brand? You called me, you were like, I, I found my car. But what's really interesting, more people stay with Ford than any other brand. I personally fell in love with the car. I don't know if I'll ever not buy a Ford. Most searched, most purchased, most loyal. I don't have time to drive something I don't love. Get a Fusion with 0 for 60 plus 1,000 bonus cash and 750 competitive switch cash or at least for $179 a month. Green Ford has gone mad in March. Drive home a Fusion or an Escape and save over $6,000. Or lease a Fusion for $149 a month. Or an Escape for $179 a month. Or even a new F-150 for $259 a month. Or save $13,000 off the purchase price. Save big with $4,500 off the Explorers. Or lease one for $269 a month or a new Mustang for only $2.29 a month. Don't miss this madness in March. Save on the crazy deals happening now at Green Ford. Nothing beats a Green Ford deal. You gotta go to Green. Looks like the Garcia's got a new car. What'd they get? I don't know. It's pretty nice. Maybe he got a raise. Good for him. Good for her. 
the expectation-shattering Buick Enclave. During the Buick March Madness event, get cash back for a sweet 16% of MSRP on select Buick vehicles in stock the longest. That's nearly $8,400 on this 2015 Enclave. The ICPR Family Practice Pekin Kids Festival is back March 28th at the Avanti Dome in Pekin. Come out for a full day of family fun, including barnyard discoveries, fun on the run inflatables, and the rock climbing wall presented by Pekin Community Hospital. Hungry? Enjoy the family meal deal. A hot dog, chip, and a drink just $4 all day long. Tickets are just $5 or get the Avanti Family 4-Pack for $15. Don't miss the Pekin Kids Festival, Saturday, March 28th, presented by ICPR Family Practice. Please, let's go. Dad, I don't want to go to Aunt Judy's. The game's on and she doesn't even have a TV. Oh, and she's nuts. Hey, let me see your phone. She's eccentric. Let's go. She talks to the moon, Dad. Boom! Now you have TV, Chief. Sweet. Yeah, the hopper from Dish lets you watch live TV anywhere on your phone. Thank you. Let's go. Fine. I hope she showered. You and me both. Call and ask to take the Dish Challenge. Switch and save $250 over Direct TV, or we'll give you $250. Guaranteed. Call Dish now. At KBL, we feel a kitchen renovation means giving up your kitchen for a short time, but it shouldn't mean giving up cooking. With any purchase of new kitchen cabinetry, KBL will give you a brand new Weber grill for free. KBL, we make it easy. All right, here's a look at your winning lottery numbers. Evening pick three, 132, pick four, 8035, lucky day, 4, 26, 28, 29, 41. And the lotto, 3, 5, 27, 33, 36, and 51. And it looks like we are going to, unfortunately, be quite a bit cooler tomorrow than what we saw today. I hope everyone enjoyed the really warm weather. <laughs> we hit the upper 70s. Tomorrow we'll be in the low 50s. Mostly sunny, though. We'll also be breezy. Winds coming from the north at about 15 to 20 miles per hour. Here's one last look at your eight-day outlook. Highs mostly in the 50s throughout the rest of the week. All right. Thanks, Rachel. Everybody have a good night. Good night. Good night.